And so we walked with him for what, an hour? Almost an hour. And nobody got bit up to that time. <laughs> nobody and, got bit the whole day. <laughs> no. But the thing is that as we were walking down this path, and that's what it was, there was no roads or anything, just a path. And so the guy kept saying, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. And I wasn't afraid, but I wet my pants about three or four times <laughs> and hid behind a tree three or four times. <laughs> Well, one of them that jumped. One of them jumped up in a tree. Oh. You know, they, they, oh. the elephants knock over the acacia trees, scratching on them. They kind of ruin huh. them. And so there was a tree laying on the ground, and one of them hopped up there. And they wanted somebody to go up there and stand by it. And they pulled Lee out again <laughs> to go up there and stand by it. <laughs> anyway, I went up, and this lion had crawled halfway up this tree. And as I got closer, this lion turned around, switched his tail, laid its ears back, and enjoyed looking at me <laughs> for lunch. I thought he was going to spray you. <laughs> yeah, I, th I thought it was too for a while there, but he finally became my friend, I think. And then all these people got brave. Oh, I'll touch him. So they go up there and but before that happened, uh this not the dominating line, the other one went up alongside and uh laid its ears back and climbed a little bit up the tree and laid its ears back and then like Glow says, I thought it was gonna wee wee, you know, make a <laughs> marking scent. But it never did, it never did wee wee on me. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it was a good thing because otherwise I'd have some female lions chasing after me. <laughs> thinking I was available. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of your most memorable vacations or travels? Uh, I've had so many. That was just, she was along with her and that made it a lot better because once I started becoming brave, she began brave. <laughs> and the braver she became, the rest of the people in the little group, they became mm -hmm. earthlings <laughs> to be eaten. She'd be my shining star, then left while I was sleeping, and even took my car. One left me down in Dallas for a guitar man. Now when you speak of lonely, I guess I understand. <laughs> So you've traveled so many places. Is there any place that you never got a chance to visit that you wish you would have? I've never been to Russia, mm -hmm. but I really don't care to go to Russia. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't send you there, so, so you're good. <laughs> well, I've been just about every place in the world. It's been all through the Mediterranean, Italy, uh, Spain, England, I spent, uh, I don't know how much time in England, two weeks, probably mm. two weeks in England. Wow. Uh, I don't know how much time. But anyway, I, uh, I enjoyed a lot of people that you folks wouldn't recognize. Hundreds of people. And that's a few places, but I, I don't know. You say pick out a place that you'd like to be. I can't do that. I mean, if you've been to 1,500 places, 2,000 places, and you turn around and say, tell me about it. Keep on trying, that's enough for me. Can't sit here crying, or I'll be leaving me. Got to leave my tears behind and be a one man show. The only way for me to go is playing. 
solo banjo. One try to sell my banjo, ain't that a cry and shame? Here, yeah, Tasmania. Well, I could walk, talk for about three hours, Tasmania. I couldn't tell you one thing. <laughs> I could tell you a thousand things. That's where all the bad burglars, murders, that becomes familiar. Tasmania? Yeah, Tasmania. That was the first, all the, the bad folks came. I mean, that's where uh, all the bad people from uh, Tasmania went from England to Tasmania to recuperate. Mm -hmm. I told you about that, didn't I? Hello? I guess not. <laughs> Sometimes that mouth doesn't work. <laughs> I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> well, Tasmania is a little island that was, you know, uh, Australia was set aside for, for uh, bad people. Oh. Oh, you I didn't, didn't know, know that? that. Mm -mm. All the, the burglars, not the real, you know, the, uh, not the real deadly people, mm -hmm. but there was a lot of bad people that were sent to Australia to recuperate. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, uh, what's the name of that place up in uh, above San Francisco? Alcatraz. 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 It was <laughs> like that, only as a big country. <laughs> he didn't know that either. <laughs> you could get an education. <laughs> oh no, I knew about Alcatraz. Oh, you did. I've been there. Yeah. Okay. They do those tours. Have you been there? Yes. Yeah. That was all sent to uh, uh, Australia, and the bad ones were sent to Tasmania. And it's your favorite place to go. One of my favorite. Those people are very, you know, they, they they listen to what everybody else says because they've been through hell and back. Isn't it scary going there, knowing that they're all? This was what a hundred years ago. Oh, okay. So the people there are not like that anymore. No. Mm -hmm. Have one of the biggest chocolate factories in the world. <laughs> Now we know why he now likes to go there. <laughs> I don't like chocolate. <laughs> Much. You don't see me eating chocolate. No, actually, I don't think there was any chocolate in those, all those bowls of candy. It was more like hard candies, huh? No chocolate. No, no chocolate. Hmm. Unless I'm eating a C's candy. And then he like tries to get some. Like this. I like Alaska. <laughs> I like the uh, wagons. Mm -hmm. The uh, dog sleds. Bush, bush. Susan Butcher. No. Susan Butcher. I like the uh, wagons that take off and go around the track, and everybody has their helpers that put them back together if they lose a wheel or if they. If they do something else. Is that the chuck chuck wagon races you were yeah, talking chuck about? Yeah, chuck wagon races, yeah, that's it. Chuck wagon. Let's see, where are some places that Lee, so tell me a little bit about um like you know, getting married and having kids. Tell me about family life. Not much. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> I was gone all the time. Mm. From the time I, uh, from 61 until I ended up here in dialysis, I didn't do very much. I just traveled. Mm -hmm. I was from Alaska to Africa to England to Australia to Sweden. But you met Marilyn when you were in the Navy. Uh, and you guys lived in Hawaii for a while. 
Yeah, but... Was it, wasn't one of your kids born over there? Well, that's a, both. Well, one kid was born over there, Gary, the oldest one, and the youngest one was uh, born on an island called North Island. Hmm. That was uh, a group of. I was in the Navy when Kevin was born, too. That's when I was in North Island flying mm -hmm. uh, helicopters. So how many children do you have? Two boys. Two boys. Okay. Those are easy questions. <laughs> I like those. And, uh... I like the buttons on those pad, too. <laughs> those are probably all your buttons. I suppose. I've had hundreds of those buttons. <laughs> that one badge there was when I was in a movie. This one here. Huh. The sheriff badge? Yeah, the, the badge for uh, running out crooks. <laughs> <laughs> and so tell me, what are your, tell me a little bit about your two sons. My two sons? Mm-hmm. Not too much. Uh, Kevin was born in, uh, 40, 40. Kevin was born... 50-something. Uh, 65? No, maybe 55. But once I started Square Dance School and, and working in the movies and traveling all over the world, Entertaining people from England, Africa, mm -hmm. South America, Missouri, Texas, mm -hmm. Montana, oh. tons of places. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, yeah, I didn't say they, they traveled a little bit with me when I'd have dances local. Like I used to do a yearly dance at the uh, Riverside Auditorium. Mm. And uh, I'd go over there once a year and we'd have like, oh, I don't know, 60 times, uh, 60 times, I can't even think, here you're in biology and screwology and all that other stuff, <laughs> 600 people mm -hmm. at the dance in Riverside and then I'd oh. have a you know fairly large dance for them. Yeah. But I did that every year. So that was exciting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somewhat. Did you have special holiday traditions with your boys? Oh, or like yeah. Christmas yeah. and mm -hmm. I can just go on and on and on with that. Uh Mount Sack. Uh, Mount Sac, where else? Uh, Cal Poly, I did a deal out there every year. Mm -hmm. A lot of these things on a yearly basis, set up on a yearly basis, and then they mm -hmm. would come out to that dance. Oh, okay. And when we had the national down here in uh, Anaheim, we had, uh, oh gosh, we probably had. Uh, over 30,000 people there. Huh. Yeah, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And they were happy. Mm -hmm. Jumped up and down. Although at those dances, sometimes you had more than one caller. Mm -hmm. You'd have like, you know, four or five callers. A f kid that was here the other day, uh, Charlie. Um, Robertson. Charlie Robertson. <laughs> He would come out, and he was just like 20 years old at that time. Mm. And then tell us how uh, you met Gloria, and what was your wedding like? A wedding like? It's exciting. <laughs> I was a student. He taught me how to dance. He was married when I started dancing, and his wife uh, uh, died, passed away from cancer. Mm -hmm. 
and after we just got to know each other during class and started dating after after I graduated. <laughs> yeah, she. Uh, and our she wedding was, a neat was small. Lady. It was small, but it was sweet. She. Uh, she was a neat lady. Was. <laughs> Well, she was. She passed on. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. You're talking about me. Yeah, she was. Yeah, Gloria came along, and she, if it wasn't been for her, I'd be dead. Oh. So, she's a quite an important portion of my life. Mm -hmm. Have you told Shannon about your time on the dairy, working on the dairy? Oh, no. The Scott's Dairy? Mm -hmm. No. You don't remember? About what? Well, I don't know. He didn't. She used to. He used to milk cows, and you know, you huh? had machines that milked the cows out here. This is in California, not in Missouri. Oh no, he didn't talk about that. That was my first wife, but they had a. Then they really still got the dairy. Mm-hmm. Oh. And you bred calves. And uh, her brother, my first wife's brother, brother-in-law. They uh, they have a whole string of cows that they still milk. Mm. Wow. That sure tastes good. <laughs> that pineapple <laughs> juice. <laughs> That's my favorite. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Drink? <laughs> I'm probably gonna drink it all. <laughs> You're not gonna leave any for her. Oh well, yeah, she can have some. There's more in the refrigerator. Yeah, what's there? There's more in the refrigerator. Oh yes, yeah, so you can get some of that. Okay. <laughs> you can drink that guilt-free. <laughs> okay. Did what you, else? Did you want to in introduce her to the camera as well? Because we know Gloria. Okay, this is Gloria, uh -huh. my wife. Mm -hmm. And this is Trish, a good friend of ours, and mm -hmm. helps us out with hundreds of things. We call and, her our adopted yeah. granddaughter. Yeah, and if I didn't have her, I'd never make it to the pot. <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing she's here. <laughs> oh, In fact, we woke her up the other night, and I had to go, and guess what? False alarm. Oh. <laughs> So she's getting kind of wiggled off at me because I have to go sometimes and then I don't. It happens. What else does she help us with? Have her do? No, what else? Bruno? Yaya. Yeah. <laughs> he calls Abby Yaya. Abby. Yaya yeah, yeah is now his dog. I used to have a dog named Abby. Oh, okay. <laughs> now it's Yaya. And now she's adopted Lee. <laughs> the first night she came over, I was going to go to bed in this bed in the back room. And I went back to the crawling bed, and guess who was in my bed? <laughs> she was laying up there looking at me with her big brown eyes. So I, I, I asked her to get out, and she did. And guess where she went? She laid aside that bed all night long. Oh. And when I was cleaning up while I go, she was licking my legs, my feet, everything she could lick. Oh. And yeah, yeah she, she kind of, she kind of, huh? She watches out for you. Yeah, she does. If anybody else comes around, she lets you know that she don't want you there. <laughs> That's why we have the But treats. she's a fancy <laughs> dog. <laughs> you can show them that hat up close. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it before because we're going to film them doing the dance while you call them. So we'll get their outfits. Call them what? Where you call it out. <laughs> you have to call You have to call the dance. You're going to call it a couple of, you know, like a do -si do Things that two people can do. Yeah, because you don't want us dancing. It wouldn't turn out very good.